Philodendron comes from two Greek words, philion, meaning to love, and dendron, meaning tree. Now, most of the philodendrons that don't actually climb up trees like to live in trees, and they're called epiphytes. But this particular variety of philodendron is a non-climbing variety. This one's called philodendron pluto, and it's very similar to the one that we saw at the botanic gardens. It's actually a brand new hybrid, so you may not have seen it before today. But it has really pretty, just cut leaves like that, and it's a nice, full, lush plant. It's actually very handsome and would make a wonderful floor plant in your home. It's also very hardy. If you buy a plant that says philodendron on it, most likely it's a hardy and easy to grow plant. All you have to do with these is let them dry out quite a bit before you water them. Now this particular one is in a 10 inch pot and you would wanna let this one dry out, oh, I would say a good two inches or so before you watered it again. So you really won't need to give it much attention at all. And there is one thing, though, you do want to do for it that would give it a little bit of extra care and attention, and that is to dust it. This one also likes to be dusted. And I know I've mentioned that before today, but it's really, you can't, I can't overdo it on the dusting. They do, it keeps the leaves nice and clean. It makes them breathe easier. They're just a lot happier if you dust them once in a while. So if you go to the store and you're looking for a really hardy plant to grow, look for a philodendron. This one's philodendron pluto, but there are other varieties too, and any of them should do really well for you. You can find them in floor plant sizes, you can find them as a shelf plant, and you can even find them as a hanging basket.